Hello family, this is Beverly Black. So come on in the kitchen with me. Today, we're going to be making some old fashioned molasses cookies. That's right. And they're very easy to make. So stay, hang around so you can learn how to make it. To make these old-fashioned molasses cookies, you would need a half a cup of molasses. And this is the one that I am using, Grandma's Molasses. You will need three-fourth cups of light brown sugar, pack it down, two teaspoons of baking soda, and that's right there, one egg at room temperature, a fourth cup of salt and here I have a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of ginger a half a teaspoon of nutmeg nutmeg everybody pronounces it different <laughs> so a half a teaspoon of that and that is all you will need and I'll put and I for myself, I, I put a little dash of vanilla in at the end, but the recipe doesn't call for it. But these are the, the ingredients, and we're going to start out. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the butter. The butter is already in here. This is three-fourth cup of butter, or you can use shortening, whichever one you, you prefer. Now, I'm going to put the one egg in with the butter that is at room temperature. And we're going to mix that up together. mixed all the drying ingredients together and then I folded it in. I have the brown sugar, the light brown sugar, I put it in here to mix it with the molasses and the butter and the egg. And you want to get out all of this um, molasses. mix this together. You don't have to use a mixer. You can do this by hand. You can do it however you want. Now I'm going to fold in or put in, mix in the dry ingredients. Just mix this in. And with these cookies, you don't have to uh, put them in the refrigerator and let them chill. After we get this all mixed up together, we'll be ready to put it on the cookie sheet and preheat your oven to 350 degrees these cookies will crack you see a crack some cracks in the uh, on top of it that is fine that is how molasses cookies are supposed to look see It is 
coming together. Okay, we have the dough here. And here's my little cookie. Cookie getter or whatever. You call. Cookie scoop. Couldn't even think of the word for it. And I have some sugar here. And I'm going to roll it in the sugar. And then I'm going to put it on the parchment paper. We'll make a few. I'm not going to bore you and have you sit while I do all of them. But the oven, like I said, at 350 degrees. And you will bake these maybe 12 Depend on your oven. Uh, I said 10. I'm going to say 10 to 13. 13 or 14 minutes. When the sides start getting brown. Because it's going to. Um, the cookies will crack on the top anyway. So when you see it getting brown. It's time to pull them out. The molasses cookies are out of the oven. And these are old-fashioned molasses cookies. They, I wish you could smell, you could get the aroma that is in the room right now from these cookies. Can't wait to dive in. Look at them. I'm going to let them cool some more, but they both will have those crack places on the cookies because that's a sign of a molasses cookie. Everyone have a blessed and prosperous day. I'm so glad you came by. The recipe will be down in the description. You can find it there. So I want to thank everyone. And everyone, please have a blessed and prosperous day. Remember, I love you. But God loves you more. Why? Because you are his masterpiece. Be blessed, everyone. Oh